everyone. Let's look at problem 18-7, which is a problem dealing with residual distribution policy. The Welch Company is considering three independent projects, each of which requires a $5 million investment. The estimated internal rate of return and the cost of capital for the projects appear in the schedule below. So we have a high risk, a medium risk, and a low risk project. Um, the problem also says to note that the project's cost of capital varies because the projects have different levels of risk. That should make sense. The, comp the company's optimal capital structure calls for a 50% debt level and a 50% equity level. Welch expects to have net income of $7,287,500. Now, if Welch bases its dividends on the residual model, which tells us that all distributions are in the form of dividends, what will its payout ratio be? Okay, now, I've put in the formula of, uh, of how we would calculate um, um, the distributions if we are using the residual distribution policy. Okay, so now let me bring this uh, problem to light. And uh, um, I've solved this um, uh, uh, beforehand just to save time for demo purposes. Okay, so we need a couple pieces of information. We need to know, uh, first, that the capital budget is 15, and we need to put in the expected net income. So that should be clear. Now, the target equity ratio is also given in the problem as 50%, and the capital budget is um, $15 million. Now, if we have that, we could then calculate the expected distributions, uh, um, and this is attempt one. Let me uh, make this just a little bit, bit bigger. I should say attempt one. Let me uh, change that a little bit. Okay, I'll just abbreviate this as, so we can see it. Okay, now let me hit the F2 so you can see all I'm doing is taking what's in cell D25, the expected net income, and I'm applying the formula, um, and then subtracting 15, 50% of the capital budget. Okay, now what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that the expected distribu distributions can't be met with um, the, that given target equity ratio, okay? So it tells us that given the expected, dis given that it can't be met, if the firm follows the residual model, it cannot take on all three projects, okay? It can only take on two. So let's, uh, let's attempt that again. I'll scroll the screen now. And now we will do the exact same approach, okay? Let's put this one in, right? So now we have the expected net income, the same amount the same target income and a capital budget and now there is uh, we are we are capable of paying dividends in this situation so to follow the strict residual distribution policy we really can't take on three projects we can only take on two we need this number to be a positive number and then finally the question says what's what should the payout ratio be and to do that all we need to do is take the uh, uh, distribution and divide it by the net income. Okay, let me abbreviate this one too. And that really is the problem. I'll we'll abbreviate that as attempt two. And so it tells us that the level of capital budgeting that we can take on is $10 million. And, and given that scenario, the payout ratio would be 31%. Okay, thank